Hello guys, this is Cool Master here. Today, like I promised, I will be showing you how to do World War One soldiers. I just think it's going to be cool since I did Civil War. So yeah, let's get into it. <clears throat> so first thing you want to start off with is well, you would go down here. There's gonna be like some vests like this. You don't want this vest. You probably want like not like uh, this because this is like way to like it's just looking like it's that so world war pack that's gonna be really good <clears throat> um for the heads um uh, it's choosable because in the beginning of the war like the french and stuff had like uh, still had like these helmets weren't that strong, but you could do these helmets. So I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna uh, do this helmet. Actually, yeah, I, no, I'm gonna do this helmet because this was in World War One. I. I saw it, like it was like um, <clears throat> I think it was like for England or something. I th I'm pretty sure it's that. So put that as silver. And then that's it for the head. You could add a gas mask, but I'm just gonna save that for the um I'm just gonna save gas mask for the flamethrower. <clears throat> so yeah, um you could do this. <clears throat> uh I have a little gunky throat today, so yeah. You could do the medieval vest, but I just think that you should like try to go for something it's not like heavy duty I mean it's kind of heavy heavy duty but kind of not so yeah I think I'm going to go for like there's stuff down here that could fit but not really so like it's pretty much optional. All this stuff is cool though, but some of it doesn't fit. You just like get a shirt that fits it like this. That'd work. Um, depending on what you want, I'm just gonna cut this green because I think it matches. I think I'm gonna color that like like I'm just gonna color this all green. Because, well, I don't know, but, like, I'm just going to try to represent American or what, um, soldier. So, this is what I'm going to represent by. But, like, if you want to be, like, more accurate, then you could do a tan. <clears throat> like, uh, I'm just going to do a tan like this. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. And then that's it. After after that, we do the well. I'd say that you should put this on. You don't have to, but I would say you should. That you can put this on, but the, I I just think that that's just putting on a lot of stuff. So I'm just gonna move on to the legs. <coughs> so. Basically, for the legs, it's also really simple. So, like, you don't have to do much. You could do this, but, like, it's pretty simple. So, like, you know, I wouldn't do this. Like, I would use, like, something that looks like, well, well, wait, 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 wait. Tab G. I like there's a World War boots. Wait, I'm gonna check something out. Look, like. so for feet, there's like World War boots. I'm gonna see what class that's in. Misc. It's in Misc. Is that the only thing that's Misc?
I'm seeing oh here are the best. Okay, um hmm. I'm going to I right, let's come down to one decision. I'm going to do the night pants. Make it just like I'm gonna make it like this. <clears throat> make it like that. I think that looks good. And then for feet, do world war boots. And then you're good for a soldier's clothing. So World War One has a lot of weapons. So this helmet represents when the British got like better helmets. So I am going to use like I don't know exactly which guns were actually in there, but this kind of looks like a gas gas gun. But that's I'm pretty sure that might be for World War Two. So I'm probably just gonna go with like a grid right there. Actually, yeah, I'm. How about like car ninety eight or M fourteen? M fourteen would be good. Don't need any special abilities. I'm going to do ranged unit because I want them to to kind of defend world <coughs> world one <coughs> soldier. There we go. And this is going to be um more armored, like one hundred more health than the others so because like they're better and more techy and stuff so yeah T i would test it see if it goes up to your efforts <coughs> if the um gun is too powerful you i suggest do the grand if you like the gun just the way it is keep it <coughs> so yeah I'm going to keep it just like this. Attack speed. I'm not going to be worrying about. So, yeah. It's pretty simple. And if I'm going to make it $400. And, yeah. And then. For this one. It's going to be a Stormtrooper. The German Stormtroopers. Um, so this is, like, I really like this, um, my grandpa's really into German, so, like, it's not for him, but I just think it'd be cool to do, so, yeah, oh, this actually looks like, that would be a good, good helmet for him, um, I think I would do, yeah, I know what to do, so if we scroll down, like, it's like, um, yeah, oh, it's right here. There we go. That looks good. Stormtroopers are, like, usually, are, like, kind of, are the elites of the Germans, so I'm gonna, like, arbor them up a little more. Or you could, like, keep it like this, because, like, their armor isn't really a lot better than that. Um, but after that, it's pretty much done. You could add this, but I just think that's unnecessary. You could also add these. I think I'm just going to add that because it looks cool. It just makes the German Stormtroopers stick out a lot more. So, yeah. Um, German uh, Stormtroopers are, I'm pretty sure, like, light metal armor, I'm pretty sure. And they're, like, kind of dark grayish. So I'm going to do that. Um, the arms are, like, not... Are, like, the whole body is... Like, all the armor is just, like, heavy duty. So, yeah. So there's also a, um... 
there's also a like medieval sh um shoulders yeah shoulder pads those will work and yeah that's good for basically the chest part after that like you don't have to add anything else but you could add a chemist view if you if you don't want to see them just wearing metal armor, but I'm not going to do that. Because they're not really like clothes trippers. So I'm also going to add that. Like so. And then I'm going to turn it the color that I want. The dark grayish. This color. And then. After I'm done. There's a lot of brown on it, so I'm just going to also color the brown that color. So, yeah. Now that looks good. I think I'm going to do like a long sleeve shirt of this guy. So I don't just see that. It's just metal on it. Hmm. Is that a Tad G shirt? Yeah, Tad G hoodie that could really fit the style. Yeah, that's good. <coughs> there we go. Alright, so for the legs, it's pretty simple. Also, it's the same thing. It's just gonna be like fit like it's just gonna be fantasy good armor colored dark gray like the rest of the stormtrooper also like on it I put the light thigh armor this it just blends in with it makes it look like the stormtrooper is a very hard, um, heavy armored just like that and I'm going to just put that in. And then we've got our German Stormtrooper. There we go. So, because these guys have a, um, like they have armor, I'm going to make them have projectile block. So the armor catches some of the enemy bullets that are shooting at them. So they'll have better chances of surviving because they're literally the elites. So I'm going to add like when it's there down to World War One, it's kinda hard to decide. So I like I think like I might do like like one of the World War Two or something guns just to make it look good. I pro I think I might do that, but since I don't see any of like the like I'm pretty sure this gun like for the looks of it is kind of old. I could use it for the Germans. So, I think that looks good. Of course, the Germans have to have a lot more health than regular soldiers. They literally have metal armor. And then, damage is going to be pretty high. Attack speed, double it. So, they, uh, so they like, literally, doesn't take us long to reload their weapon. Movement speed, not that high. There we have a German Stormtrooper. I'm going to do the cost for 900. There we go. And then I'm going to do the last one. A flamethrower. I just think that this is going to look good. So yeah. Of course the flamethrower has to have a gas mask. I'm gonna turn that dark gray like the German, oh, like the Germans have.
I'm also gonna give them like this um tab G vest so it, like it so they can like withstand the fire and stuff. I know that's like not World War One, but like it's gonna be looking good. So I'm gonna put that on. If we go up, there is a medieval pad, shoulder pads. Put that on, turn it light gray, light dark gray. And then we got it. I'm gonna put on a shirt, this guy, so when like, I make him full armored, I don't have to see his, like, just like, like after his armor, like this, not anything after it. So I'm gonna put on a tab G. Like, I'm pretty sure it's up here. A tab G hoodie one. I'm gonna make that kind of blend in with it. And then I think I'm gonna call that good. And then put that, like, the, uh, the mitt. It's in the mask area. There we go. Where is it? I think I'm just gonna do the um fantasy good pants. Then yeah, that's basically it. Oh, that looks sus. I'm so if you go up, there is ancient shorts. If you have this on this, that will cover up. This up uh, the loose armor part, so that looks good. It looks ready to go. <clears throat> um, really stuffy lately, and then that's good for him. Of course, you're asking, he has to have a flamethrower. I'm going to, so you could either do a minigun or you can do a harpoon gun. I'm going to do the harpoon gun just because make this type of fire that became fire fireball and now he's getting toasted. Oh he died. So this guy's uh, I'm gonna have a little more health than the regular soldiers. He's gonna have 450. Because he has to have thicker armor. German. And name it German. Flame. Thrower. There we go. Damage. I wouldn't do anything. Attack speed. Put it up. I really put the attack speed up. If you want to make it look like it's actually shooting a, um, like, fire instead of just one single fireball, then I suggest you use the mini gun. Because when I used that for a cloned flame trooper, it was much better. I just want to test out what would happen if I do <coughs> uh, another one. Oh, that's a lot. Alright, so I'm going to put the unit weight like a lot so he can withstand that. Doesn't look like he's withstanding it really well, but yeah, I think that's good. Take a photo. I do 500 because he's pretty important. Like, same unit. So I already have a German faction. It is spelled wrong because I was trying to make it quick. I have German soldiers, star troopers, flame trooper, and German commander. I'm gonna take out that guy. Type German in. Do my new German storm trooper. Take out the other German um storm trooper and get a soldier. For 
World War One soldier, then we can actually fight them. So yeah, I, like I'm a, I think a good place to actually fight would be the um, Wild West area or the Residence. I, I don't think I'm pronouncing it right, but that's basically it. So let's do it. Let's get the German faction up to war. German factions right there. And the list is Garmin. I gotta fix that. First, we're gonna do some Barksman German soldiers with a commander. And we're gonna do just a bunch of World War I soldiers. Wow, I am out. Marksman German. I think the Marksman Germans are like one of snipers. But oh well. Oh, he just sniped him. Oh, that's not good. Alright, uh, so let's try out German Stormtrooper versus four German Stormtroopers versus eight regular soldiers. Oh, they're getting killed. Like, some of the German troopers get killed, but they're still elite. But they kill everybody with three stormtroopers left. Pretty good squad. Last but not least, let's put, place a two flame. Oh, they get shot down immediately. Ooh, that's not good. Uh. This one, um, the Germans are gonna defend, and they'll like Germans just gonna defend. There we go. Back. Let's place some German soldiers down. There we go. Defend the fort. There we go. And then we have. And we have two German stormtroopers. And then one German commander. And then the rest on the enemy side is just going to be World War One soldiers. So it's three by one, two, three, four, twelve for each. Twelve and one more. Will the Germans be able to defend their fort, or will they fall to the power of the World War One troopers? I'm just going to make them Americans, so the American soldiers, let's see who will win. Hopefully the Americans win, but the Germans are outnumbered. I'm just going to take control of one of the Germans. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we'll get shot down left and right. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, ah. Oh, they raided. It looks like they took the fort very easily, but this time, the Germans are very bad. So instead, they decide to call for a little help. Let's just say they literally just called a republic take. 
one republic take to take care of a ball. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, I just... It's dead already. Oh, Republic tank is down. Let's do that. Put some tanks right here. Um, let's get a some storm troopers. Oh, close trip snipers right here. Art trooper blitz right there. And then let's do some Bob Scott troopers. So the clone troopers are deciding to help out the Germans for once. Now they're going to defend the fort. A fort! Now I am off. The taste is too strong. Oh. Oh no. The soldiers are getting blasted. Oh. Pfft. Charge. Oh. Pfft. The tanks are too powerful. Look. Lovely hot dog tanks. I made these, but it's hard to make vehicles and tabs. <laughs> Like, look good, so. I mean, they do work very well, but, yeah. They were not able to feed the forces. And then, this time, the World War One soldiers are gonna just be spamming out. Thirty on each side. Let's see how well this goes out. It's not gonna go out well. One hundred soldiers versus thirteen. Fire! Oh, we're already losing lots of men. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, oh, oh! Fire! Oh, it's not eating those. Oh. Oh, it just got toasty. Republic tanks. I mean, this looks like the World War One soldiers were able to take out, like, a lot of the clone troopers. We took out one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. They took out eight clone troopers, but they were no match for takes. So I don't even think they took down one take. Huh. Well, that was actually not that surprising. It looks like the takes are very OP. But not as Let's see if they're OP as I got just. I'm just gonna spam it, Spartans. Eight Spartans on each side. There we go. Sixteen. Twenty-four. And thirty-two. There we go. Let's see if the Halo Spartans stand a chance. They definitely have a better fighting chance. Oh! <laughs> pretty fun. Bye. Next, my win. Bye. Bye. Mm. Oh. I'm going right close to this guy. Oh. Oh. I think I'm going to shoot my own salt bed. Eh. Eh. No. They're only like pushing me forward. What the heck? Vengeance. It's my old soldiers. Oh. 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 
How many shots did it take to kill these guys? <sighs> well, it did take a little while, but they did. The spies were able to take down what looks like. Well, there were four takes total. I only see two left alive, so it looks like they're able to take down two takes or one might fall off the edge. But the takes were still way too powerful. Let's see if they stay a chance against uh like a lot of warthogs. And the uh, warthog army has risen. Boop, 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 boop. I'm getting shot pretty harsh here. Come on, let's take these guys. I can't really say, oh. Oh, we did it. And we still have, wait, is that our trooper blitz? Die, our trooper blitz. Nobody likes our trooper blitz because he fell off that edge. Actually, a lot of people like our trooper blitz. But, really, the clothes actually died. Like, they had a lot of losses, but still would. Our trooper blitz fell off the edge. Dude, why do you have to fall off the edge, man? But, they did win. Thank you guys for watching so much. I hope you guys enjoyed how to make World War One soldiers, stormtroopers, and German flamethrowers. And I'll see you guys next video. Please like and sub. And I'll see you guys next vid.